Okay, up next, we have got Duncan Burns with the Veggie Dome. Or now, I, I know we've been um, talking about some rebranding of things, and I'll let you um, share on that. But uh, Duncan, um, you as well, I use your product. It's in my home. I started using it um, during COVID. You know my story where we would do these little ice cream events and um, I would fill the dishes with, with all the toppings and stuff like that from chocolate chips to gummy worms and bears and all, all the different sprinkles and things like that. And normally my little guy would come and grab a handful of that. But um, what to much to my surprise, when I was um, getting that all prepared for that, that evening for this, uh, our ice cream uh, time together during COVID, we would do this like once a week and gather. No, no, no surprise why I packed on the COVID-19 pounds. But um, needless to say, he reached for the vegetables that were in the veggie dome. And you probably two weeks before said, Izzy, the reason why your kids aren't eating fruits and vegetables as much as they should is because they're hidden in the refrigerator, turning into a soupy mess. That's all I'm going to say. Otherwise, it steals too much thunder from you, Duncan. But I'm astounded by this revolutionary product that's going to be sweeping the nation here in every kitchen counter, I believe. So would you help me welcome my good friend and colleague, Duncan Burns? Go ahead and hit him with it, Duncan. Thank you, Izzy. Thanks for that introduction. And um, it really it reminds me of a, my old story of of taking my a bunch of kids, like seven or eight, eight year olds, boys to a bowling alley. And um, I wanted them to eat healthy. And what I did was I packed a whole bunch of washed vegetable, uh, like carrot sticks and celery and radishes and stuff like that. And I put them out on the table uh, at the bowling alley and the kids gobbled them up. And what it really comes down to is, is there's this odd belief that, oh, kids don't like vegetables. That's how it, it takes forever to get them to eat them. You know what? If you have them in front of you, then that makes it so that they start eating them and grabbing them. Veggie Dome is something that I have developed over a 15-year period, but really it's as a company, it's four or five years old. I'm the guy who wanted my kids to be able to eat more vegetables. I know that when they came home from school, there's a box of crackers. They eat it up, and five minutes later, they're hungry again. It really wasn't good for them. It's whatever's out on the table, what's ever out on the counter, that's fair game to eat. I wanted to make it so that there would be fresh vegetables out on the table, but of course, they'd be wilted after a whole school day. And I solved the problem, but I solved more than just a snack problem. The problems that I solved was that we're wasting 40% of the vegetables that we put in our fridge. That is over $100 a month per household in America. We're just buying vegetables in the store that are beautiful, and then they turn into what you see in that picture right there is this soupy mess that's in the fridge that you discover, oh, that's right, the salad pack is opened up and it's all messed up. The refrigerator wasn't designed for vegetables. It was designed for cooling meat and dairy products and keeping things cold. And vegetables do, in fact, slow down their growth in cold weather, but it's a very harsh environment in the refrigerator. It's going to kill them. The other thing is that it puts it out on the table so that it's out of sight. Now we're putting it in sight. It's out of mind. We're bringing it in mind because it's out on the kitchen table. 90% of Americans don't eat the recommended daily amount of fruits and vegetables that's recommended by the CDC. Guys, that's only 10% of the population are eating the right number of fruits and vegetables. And that's what's causing such a problem with heart disease, with type 2 diabetes, with many other diseases. We're just not feeding our bodies properly, folks. The solution, bring it out onto the table, put it on the counter. And that's what this device, which looks very simple, but actually it's using the biology of the plants to keep them fresh. And I'll just I'll explain it more on another slide here. I've got a couple slides that um, are extra. I'm going to flip through them if you don't mind. This is the one that is uh, me in 1970 growing orchids in a greenhouse in the backyard that my brother and I built. 
I learned that tropical orchid, tropical plants that grow on trees, as you can see, they're up on a, a branch there. They are drinking water, not from their roots as much as through their leaves. So I thought, flash forward 30 years later, hmm, if I'm trying to keep things fresh, maybe vegetables and fruit can keep fresh with moisture that they drink through their leaves. So I devised this, to, this, container that protects the vegetables and keeps it in a, a space where the moisture from the vegetables and fruit stays inside. So they're creating their own natural environment that they can live in. That's the thing. People talk about how long does it keep it fresh? Folks, it's keeping it alive in there. And what happens is in the fridge, you get refrigerator burn, bags open up, you spoil the lettuce, and all these types of things are happening inside the veggie dome. The vegetables, again, are producing their own wonderful moist environment that they are creating. You don't have to add any new extra water. You just wash them, drop them in there. And the lid that I made so that my kids could reach in and grab the food actually allows the ethylene gas also to escape, which is a growth hormone. So I'm going to keep going here. This is the thing. This is a new device for the kitchen. What else is the best thing available to, to manufacture and be able to make a huge profit on is the new thing for the kitchen. We're right now got all these plastic boxes and containers that might be glass with a lid on it that's aerodynamically sealed. Gosh, in the United States, we're so interested in aerodynamically sealing stuff. If I had had the money to make it aerodynamically sealed when I first made my beta version, I wouldn't have had the success that I had because the ethylene leaks out. But also, this lid is really loose and it allows the kids or people and yourself to just reach in and grab for the carrots. You don't need to use two hands to open it up. You just have one hand and take the lid pull off, grab and go your vegetables or your fruit that you want to eat. That's a huge thing because it makes it accessible. We have to think about that it's more of a cornucopia of vegetables on your table. It's a much more positive and beautiful vision than a closed up piece of plastic that's in the refrigerator that you only look at it as if you're getting something else. We want to have an easy grab and easy use device that's out on the uh, the kitchen table. So I'm going to um, just say one thing. We ran a successful Indiegogo. We sold to 800 customers in 45 days. The main thing that I learned in the Indiegogo is that we were able to sell to 47 of the continental U.S. states. I thought it was going to go to California or in New York and maybe Oregon, but no, almost all the states ordered the Veggie Dome in 45 days. Why? Because people want a way in which they can handle their vegetables better and eat healthier. And so we've sold them at $59.99. We're going to try to bring that price down a bit, um, although we're going to make it a high quality piece that's for your house. Now I'm going to go back, um, to the, to the main screen here. And I want to see if I can join up with Izzy at some point because there's a discussion going on about what type of product this is really. We've got, it's just normal in terms of wanting national retail for a consumer product, being able to have, sell it online and Amazon. But we have actually other avenues which we can make profit on this, this, um, device. Um, one of the things is we are uh, right now in negotiations with three different companies that want to license it. So that's going to be income to my company um, at, at just through licensing, and I won't have to manufacture those. Um, we are going to be making uh, 15,000 units. The uh, companies are even talking about doing 30,000 units this year. So this is something that we're going to be able to make money on. But also, there are social causes that we can use in terms of fundraising. Let's say um, for the American Diabetes Association, they want to do a fundraiser. Uh, they're not going to be selling chocolate cookies. <laughs> the idea of social f causes and fundraising is that they sell to their 
clients to their customers, something that's actually going to help their household eat healthier because it's got vegetables and fruit out on the table. That's a win. They raise money because they're selling through a fundraiser. And we might not be be making as much profit on the fundraising versions because we're going to make it so that we're cost, our costs are covered, that they make money on their fundraising. But then the, the customer has something that's benefited in their house Win, win, win on this one. Social causes is going to make it so that they're in houses so that people can be able to see them. It spreads the word of this new device. Um, and also, we are, we'll be able to have it on QVC. It's a perfect visual product for QVC. One thing that I want to point out is that there's a current trend going on, a healthy purpose. There's a purpose for this invention. The purpose is that it gets vegetables out on the table for daily consumption. And it shows the people, you know, your household, oh, we got carrots, we got celery, you start eating it up instead of hiding it in the refrigerator. Now, they're the people that are in on this page. On one side, we have really, there's huge leaders of um, in sports, in uh, filmmaking, including James Cameron, the director who made uh, Game Changers, a movie that you guys really should see, Game Changers, okay? Well, this is part of that movement. And um, uh, there are a huge number of doctors, tens of thousands of doctors who are switching towards trying to make their patients eat more vegetables and fruit instead of giving them prescriptions for 20, 30 pills a week to be able to keep going and live in uh, really a degraded uh, a way in which they're still suffering, but just taking pills. These ways in which doctors are through the Plantrition Project, through the Food Revolution Network, through Plant Pure Nation, there's a huge number of groups that are going this direction. Guess what? We have the stage for the vegetables and fruit to be out on the table. We have the utility patent for this movement to have a tool to allow their clients and their customers to be able to have a change in the household. The reason why I've got this slide up is that this is all about medical. This is all about health-oriented um, and healers. Guess what? There are actually six multi-billion-dollar industries that can use these as for their clients. Nutritionists, weight loss coaches, pro athlete trainers and, and athletic trainers, and the, the healthcare industry that I mentioned earlier. This isn't just a housewares product. This isn't just a really cool thing for the kitchen. This isn't just the new thing for the kitchen. This is actually a tool or a way in which all of these leaders and these people that are in our community who are trying to help us be healthier, lose weight, be more athletic, can use as part of their program. Hey, take this veggie dome, fill it up on Sunday afternoon. By Tuesday or Wednesday, you should have emptied it and eaten, eaten up the, the ingredients and put up a new batch. Rinse and recycle, you know, just keep this thing going. You know what happens is, and I'm going to come off of the, uh, the, the share for a second and just say, when people utilize this actively, the everything that they put in there are the vegetables and fruit that they're going to be eating over the next couple of days. This isn't just, oh, I'm storing it. How long does it store? Does it store longer than the refrigerator? It's equivalent to the refrigerator in some ways, but it's better because it's out on the table. Because you have it out on your table, you eat it. <laughs> in my household, my veggie dome, I go for seven, eight months with vegetables being put in there with zero waste. Why? Because when I put it in there, it gets eaten up. And by the way, after a couple of days, maybe or five or six days that it's been in there, I go, okay, well, I'll put it in the soup or I'll cook with it or I'll be put it in the salad. You see it and you utilize it. 100% consumption from veggie domes that are out on the table. This is if you're active. If you're trying to figure out, hmm, let me just put this in there and see how long it lasts, it becomes a science experiment, okay? Fine, I understand. But what you're really using this for is not storing vegetables, which is why um, 
You might put it in the refrigerator. No, this is vegetables that you're going to be eating. It's a different dialogue. You don't buy vegetables to store them. You buy vegetables to eat them. This helps you do that. So this is what I'm, I'm going to um, describe for the veg dump. I've described the product. I've described the market. I've described the focus of consumers. And there's certainly a trend going on that we're going to be able to be able to help in terms of we're going to be helped by in when our marketing that this trend is going to have a new tool. This is the new thing. This is the new thing for the kitchen. It's incredible to be able to do that. Now I'm going to flip over to the business side. How do you make money on consumer products? By selling a lot of them. That's it. <laughs> and the idea is, how can you make a lot of them? This is such a simple device. I've been able to make them now. I've, I've used to be making them for $14, $15 a piece. I've been able to now get it down to $10 a piece. If we can make these for $10 a piece and sell them for $45, we're going to be able to make a profit. We're going to be able to make a profit on making a lot of them and being able to, and the manufacturing is not that hard. It's, I was able to make it on, on from this Indiegogo campaign. That was a beta version. I must admit. Now we've got an improved version. Now we've got a better supplier who's going to better make it at higher quality. In terms of the investment, um, I'm going to go back to now the chart here, share the screen and see if it goes. There we go. Let's keep going on this. We've got advisors on board. I've got over the last couple of years, strategic partnerships that I've formed with people that are, let me tell you, heavyweights in their field. Dr. David Katz, 1 million followers on LinkedIn. He's got two veggie dumps. He and his wife love it, but they're, I'm not going to play that card until we have the veggie domes being mass, mass produced. Then he puts the word out that this is part of his methodology as a nutritionist. Great. But here we go again. John Sally, who is four-time NBA champion, he's on board as not only um, an advisor, but he wants to be actively involved in making the videos for it and getting it out on the social media. He's got a Rolodex that is Rolodex that is amazing, folks. <laughs> he's got a lot of folks in Hollywood lined up. And let me tell you, every time I talk to a leader of the community, that say, hmm, this is advice that's going to make it so that vegetables are out on the counter and households are going to be having potentially more uh, better health and better diet. And it actually looks kind of nice. It looks pretty. Yeah, I'm on board. Everybody I've talked to who's potentially uh, either um, a uh, as a, a person who is in, wants to be involved with the company or wants to be an influencer, they're on board. It's not like I'm making, uh, you know, the next tennis shoe or the next um, hoodie or something like that. That's, oh, there's so many out there. This is a product with a purpose and it can be manufactured and replicated so that we can make a lot of them. And with the utility patent on board, I'm in good shape. With the European patent already in place, I'm in good shape. We've got IP that's already um, fixed and already achieved. Royston King is involved also. He's, he's an amazing guy. And so I'll talk to you more about the advisors. Izzy, of course, with a capital raise, he's been a great experienced guide. Um, and Joseph Tafoya, including um, the NFL um, folks that I've talked to, there is a sports contingency, there's a medical contingency, there's a housewares contingency that are in, interested in helping this product help others in the country. We've got a great management team. I'm not going to stay on it too long. Um, Trevor Anderson is, is amazingly proactive and, and, and gets to dealing with problems before they even uh, happen. He's got an amazing experience. Phil Nardell, my CFO, has worked with multiple uh, corporations, and Pat Fiore, who brings category creators um, into the market. And this is one of these category creators that is going to make a difference in people's households. In terms of our company, we are raising $1 million. I know this is not like a specific numbers um, that are being um, described here, but you can see the 
the types of partitions are scaled inventories taking ma the majority of what we're going to be investing. We're going to have a uh, go-to-market campaign, which is a full-on campaign, which we haven't done before because we've been testing out this beta version. We've been selling it in uh, home and garden shows. We've been selling it online. Um, but the use of funds, as you can see, is very reasonable, understandable that we're going to be making new molds and then making inventory. That's what the company is. It's a simple type of thing. We're making it in terms of 15,000 units this first year. We're going to triple the number each year and be able to also have um, income coming in from the licensing agreements, especially when this starts being seen on tables across the nation. We're going international. We've got interest in the UK, Germany, Denmark, and Australia. So as I was saying, the funding that we're interested in is the $1 million. Let me tell you, if you get involved with this company and we put in the million dollars and begin the manufacturing of the Veggie Dome, I'm going to come off of the screen now and, and let's get personal. You invest the money. It is a simple type of, um, of product that we don't have all of these various materials to worry about or electronics or digital things that are involved with it. It is something that sits out on the table. It makes a difference immediately when you do it. You load the vegetables in, you put it on the table, the kitchen changes. It's like if I was going over to um, Izzy's house and we're having dinner and they have a wonderful house and I'm going to come over and I'll bring them a bouquet of flowers. Okay. And then Izzy goes, Oh, this is beautiful. If he puts it out in a vase on the table in the living room, it lights up the room. Everything hits off of the natural colors and it becomes something that literally changes the living room because of the beauty of the flowers. But Izzy goes and takes the vase and he puts it in the refrigerator. That's what we're doing right now with our vegetables. We're putting it in the refrigerator. Yes, it's going to stay a long time. The flowers that I brought him for dinner are going to stay nicely in the refrigerator for a while. But what's happening is we're doing the wrong thing with our food, and therefore we're throwing it away. We're not eating it. This is a solution that can make a big difference. And in some way, it's a celebration of the good things that you can eat for, for in the day. You you are really getting into a, a daily habit of seeing and enjoying something that is a positive thing to your health and for your family. Izzy, any comments? Because we really do think that as we get this money raised and we've got a letter of intent coming next week, we're going to be able to have these um, licensing deals starting up. This is a momentum that we want to carry through, but we have to get it going now, December, January of this year, because as we order it through 2023, we want to be able to have the delivery of the order by late spring, early summer, because why? It'll be on the shelves. We can begin selling it. We have them go to market in place for the holiday season of 2023. We're going to knock it out of the park and sell the first batch that way immediately. Is he? Well, as Tom had just mentioned here in the com in the comments, Duncan, you sure have umped your upped your game. What an amazing presentation! Great, great job. I am so excited about Veggie Dome and the direction that it's going in. You know, when you have greats like John Sally, you know, you mentioned that he is uh, not only a uh, a multi uh, time championship NBA star, but he's also in the space of elevating the visibility of the importance of eating fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. He's got some fantastic restaurants in the Southern California area where he specializes in that. I know you've been to those and some of the launches and things like it's that. It's his I'm mission. A good friend of Is yours. He, he yeah. actually testified in the Senate to try to bring more vegetables and fruit into schools across the nation. It's a mission yes. of his. Yeah. Yes, I recognize that. And um, what a great job he's doing with that, elevating that visibility and having this on uh, kitchen counters and tables. It just makes sense. And, you know, what's fascinating to me is when you put out um, uh, what the French call a crudité, right? Is that the right pronunciation right. with the uh, fruits and vegetables on the table? Um, when you put out a crudité, all of a sudden, everyone thinks people are coming over, right? <laughs> when 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 you when you're when you're making dinner, no one's assuming that anyone's coming over. But it's just that we have the propensity to just think about all the other foods except fruits and vegetables. Why that is, I don't know. 
it's become uh, more of a staple in our in our household. And in fact, having wrestlers and high uh, level sports um, athletes like my kids, um, they always pack the, the celery, the peanut butter, fresh fruits and vegetables. And what do they do? They go right into the veggie dome first and grab it out of there. So um, this has become a part of our lifestyle. This is a, a lifestyle change that uh, people are going to be making, in my opinion. And Veggie Dome is just a great accoutrement. Not only is it a great gift, but it's a great staple to have on the kitchen counter. So, Duncan, great job. You want to wrap up with something? Go ahead. Well, take just one more thing is I want to move. tell you about the momentum of the sales of this is that not only is it really visual, like in, for QVC and that type of thing, but actually every individual salesperson that I've dealt with they're they're very happy to work with it. You know why? Because if they make a sale, they feel that they've actually helped that person sure. in their household. Yeah. And it's actually yeah. a very fun, beautiful thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great job, Duncan. One last thing that I'll mention is um, I want to make sure that the investors that are watching or listening to the recording, they understand that we're not like cutting our teeth with this capital, trying to figure out if this is if this is going to work. Um, we test piloted this and every state in the country purchased a veggie dome. It was represented in every single state in the United States. Um, Duncan, what I will tell you is once this is capitalized and we heighten the visibility, there is no doubt in my mind that you're going to see explosive sales because people want this. You've been holding the rein saying, no, 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 I, I can't bring this to market. Yes, I know you want it. Yes, I know you want to market this. Yes, I know you want to distribute this, but I need the capital to make sure I have enough of these, right, to facilitate that demand. We've seen that happen before. And I'll tell you what, the harder thing is creating the demand and then bringing in the product, right? You've already done the heavy lifting. The demand is there. Now we just need the capital to supply that demand. So great, great job. Excellent job, Duncan. Give him a round of applause.